Ooh, big one. Yeah, here we go. He's not in, Mike. Oh, that guy's huge. Look how big he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jimmy, and you're watching some awesome fishing footage on the Jimmy in the Wild channel. Before we get started, please smash that big red subscribe button. You'll certainly want to find your way back to the channel for more awesome future adventures. Especially since I've got another video coming up real soon that has some incredible fishing action. Also, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget, comments are always appreciated. For today's video, we're fishing a section of river that's on private property. This section of the Wind River doesn't see a lot of fishing pressure. It's nestled in a wide valley between the Wind River Range and the Owl Creek Range. Most of the river that runs through this valley runs across the Wind River Indian Reservation. Accessing a private stretch like this is a very limited and welcome opportunity. We're hoping to catch something memorable, but we don't really intend to bring anything home from the river. So anything we catch from the river will be released unharmed. A little brown trout. Yep. So I'm fishing today with my cousin Mike Connor and Patrick Edwards of Radcast Outdoors. You should really consider checking out Patrick's Radcast Outdoors podcast. He's got some really great information on hunting and fishing. So to get the fishing ball rolling, Mike and Patrick headed upstream while I headed downstream. Do you hear that sound? Those are sandhill cranes. Their calls sound almost prehistoric and are pretty eerie. A little chilly. That's what you get for the last week of September. I'm in shorts and water socks. We'll see how that works. Down here on a great stretch of river, you can hear the sandhill cranes going. Pretty crazy sounds. So we're starting out using spinners and a few other things to target brown trout and maybe even sauger. Sauger are similar to walleye and are native to the Wind River. Ooh, there we go, that's a nice fish. Oh, I get tangled up. Almost. A little brown. Oh, he broke off. I have to retie. Really nice brown trout. Maybe 13 inches. Pretty, pretty fish. He's gonna go back in the water. I gotta get my lure back though. There he is. Thank you for playing, Mr. Brown Trout. I know there's one in here. I saw him. Oh, there we go. Little guy. Another brown trout. Little wiggly brown trout. That's three brown trout so far. All right, so here's a here's a little brown trout. Maybe six and a half, seven inches. Little tiny guy. Well, here's Mike's brown trout. It's about 17 inches, 16 and a half, 17 inches. Perfect fish. We, uh, I know I've got them in here somewhere. You can use your you can use the grasshoppers if you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, just leave them in there, man. Leave them in your box. We're good. Nice. There he is. A little 12 incher, maybe. Nice brown trout out of the Wind River. It's gonna go right back. Might be 12 inches, maybe 12 and a half. Ooh, got a nice one. Big fish. Well, not, well maybe not as big as Mike's, but. Yeah. 
Nice brown trout, maybe 14-ish inches. Definitely not as big as Mike's yet, but maybe I'll catch him. So here he is, maybe 10 inch fish. Really pretty, a little German brown, going back in the water. There we go, got one. Not very big, but he's on. He's a scrapper. Oh. All right, there's a really good pool here. Cuts under that dead tree up under the bank. Gotta be something here. There go, there's a little guy, a little scrapper. There you go. A little seven inch brown trout, very pretty. Little tiny orange dots on them. We're gonna get them back in the water. Come on, you're in the water. It's a really nice pool here. Dang it, I missed him. He's not paying attention. Got one more time here. nice 14 solid 14 inch fish we're gonna get him back in the water it's definitely a male you can see his mouth and hopefully he grows up to be a much bigger fish there we go oh yeah oh I got off that was a nice fish Man, that was a smacker. Ooh, big one, yeah, there we go. Oh, he got off, dang it. That was a nice fish. Well, after catching one large brown trout and maybe a dozen small to medium-sized fish, we decided to do something completely different. We got word that there was the possibility of a really great fishing opportunity just across the road. It's late September and this is when the canals and irrigation ditches are shut down until the following spring. Growing season's over and winter is definitely on its way. The cool thing about shutting the canals and ditches down is that there are some very clear still pools with a lot of fish that I like to call bonus fish. These are fish that would otherwise die within the next week or so due to lack of water. The great thing about these fish is they're easy to catch and they're really high quality. So we're definitely going to take these home to eat if we catch some. They are. Freaking out. Oh geez, that's hundreds. That whole side's nothing but fish. Hundreds. Maybe a thousand over there. Okay. There's a giant crawfish over there. See the crawfish? Uh huh. The one I saw first. Oh. There's a bunch of them in there. Fish number two. Slaying them. Slaying them, Mike. Yep, another nice rainbow. Oh! 
That's a lot of fish. See that guy? It's not, a lot nicer. Yeah, he's biggin'. He's what, 17, 18? He is not, he's a rainbow. He lived in flask water up until yesterday. He's 18 down there. Look at that. There's a ling. Oh, there's a ling. Oh, that guy's huge. Look how big he is. Uh -huh. The fish that we just spotted was a ling, also known as a burbot or eel pout. It's a freshwater cod species and it looks a little creepy. They tend to get pretty long and they're somewhat snake-like. Also, they're really good to eat. While I was getting busy trying to catch this guy, my GoPro camera overheated and shut down, so I did not get the footage. It was real disappointing not getting catching this huge fish on camera. Woo. However, since the fish was so big, I was able to enter it in the Wyoming Game and Fish's Master Angler Program. This is my first entry to the Master Angler Program, but I'm going to make sure I submit more in the future. I've left a link to the Wyoming Game and Fish Master Angler Program in the video description below. It's a really cool program that gives you decals and other prizes for qualifying fish lengths. This is another really cool thing to check out if you're interested. The bourbon I caught ended up being 37 and a half inches long and about 8 to 10 pounds. We also ended up bringing four really nice bonus rainbow trout back for dinner. It was definitely a great day of fishing. Well, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you leave a comment below, I promise to reply as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've got some more incredible fishing footage that I'm getting ready for upload right now. It's something you're definitely not going to want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.